You alright guys, what up, it's Cowflex here, and this week I am being very productive, it's Wednesday, as of right now I'm recording this, so as of right now it is Wednesday the 7th of December, and I'm already making this week's video, I'm being very productive, and I'm being very shit. As you guys may know, or may not know from this video here, that's if you did watch it to be fair, so this video here if you saw this part at the end, too bad, it's quite hard, it takes a lot of practice, trust me, my dog's barking. Well, yeah, I've got a dog now, it's a new experience for most people some people no, don't like dogs some people like dogs some people don't like dogs some people like dogs some people some people are just mad with dogs so it was around about midway through summer just before like the end of school break in the UK it's different in America like you break up earlier than I do but you get it back earlier than I do so, so I want to say June yeah in June we got um a dog for the very first time like we have had other animals in our house one was like we used to have this rabbit which was literally I think it was the best rabbit in the whole entire world he would come inside whenever he wanted to he would let you pick you up he was very relaxed very chill and probably always ran to you whenever you went outside just say hello to him he's pretty much the best rabbit I think I will ever 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 have but this dog we've got now he was rescued uh, yeah I got a rescue dog <laughs> like my family were just um, looking at this website just looking for dogs because you know they would like we just we never thought we would actually get one we just thought we'll just have a look just in case you see anything we like there or anything like that and we did we saw our dog which we have now and we thought there's no way he's gonna be free or someone else has taken him. We just thought he was that cute that someone could have taken him already and that he that he was taken. And we just asked in case it's always good to ask you like, hey, has he been taken? And no, he wasn't. So we had to go through this process of we had to go through this process of someone coming around to our house who was part of this uh, adoption adoption company and just asked us questions like, where's your like, your nearest vet? And she was like, yeah, you're perfect enough for a dog. We were allowed to adopt our dog. We didn't know what breed we wanted like well, there's no like real breed there were some breeds which we were like no we don't want that one but there were some breeds which we like there's like we are pretty much like, all breeds like say if we got a collie that'd be cool say if we got um a labrador that'd be cool say if, i don't know we got everything it's say if we got any type of those breeds or something like that that'd be cool i wasn't expecting this type of breed of all the breeds we were gonna choose we went for in the end because we saw his picture and he was the uh, most adorable dog ever and he is the most adorable dog ever we went for a pointer setter spaniel cross thing is we're 99.9% .9 sure that he's got pointer in him because it's like all the genetic stuff which happens uh, which comes through pointer he's not a great fan of like tennis balls and like that like a Labrador you just chuck a tennis ball at him and then you're like, oh Jesus Christ this is fun but like our dog's kind of weird he's, he's not food orientated toy orientated or anything he's just whatever which is okay but it just makes it very hard to train he knows the sit paw and the basic stuff but I'm trying to teach him how to do the other paw right now and I'm trying to teach him how to uh, try and roll over but if he can't roll over he can't roll over but that'd be kind of cool to do. So when we finally got through the adoption phase and all that he went on this journey I think it was three days from Greece to the UK and I think I uh, just hearing what he went through and like how like scared he was when we finally got him it was pretty upsetting i'm not gonna lie like him being like surprisingly thin shockingly thin and him being scared oh, beyond belief he doesn't know where the hell he is he got into a van drove for three days and got to a location which he has never seen before and met just met two people who and just met a family ready to take him into their house which sounds really weird those three days probably were the worst for him but it doesn't add up to how long he's gonna like right now he's probably having hopefully you know, I hope he's probably having god knows how long of happiness let's just hope as long as possible I really wish like there was a way which they could have got him over here in a nicer way they were trying to do their best bless them I'm not dissing them they were very good there was two people transporting these dogs across from uh, across the country to owners and two people walking about 50 dogs ain't gonna do well. I can understand that point, but I don't know. It would have been nicer if he was a bit more happier and relaxed when he came here. Like, he'd never been on carpet before, that's how bad he was. Like, when we first got him, he came into our house and we he was wagging his tail, showing that he was happy. He was what, like, do you know how, like, you can tell if a dog's really happy if his tail's, like, high up in the sky and he can tell if he's not that happy if it's, like, down low? His was down low, but wagging quite fast. And wagging quite fast means he's quite happy. It's quite low. I was thinking, okay. Say if you, like, say 
say if I went to itch my face, he'd be like, what? Like, he would just flinch at anything. I was like, Jesus Christ, what's going on? I took the approach of let him come to me. I just sat down on the floor and let him sniff me. I let him walk around me. Let him, if he wanted to, put his paw on me just to see what I was going to do about it and do nothing about it. And then eventually, I, I think he kind of got used to us as a family, like all of us. When he was a bit more confident in his area, a bit more happy. We finally took him into carpet and to experience carpet and he, oh, that was a very weird sensation for him probably. He got kind of used to it very quickly, it's just a soft material which is just standing on which I don't think he minded. And then I just, I, I again moved places, sat down, let him walk around all of us, let him sniff us until he did one thing was he started getting a bit more comfortable with me and he laid down and put his like half of his body like his head on me and that's a memory i won't ever forget in my life that is probably the memory i won't ever forget in my life of course there are drawbacks when they come to having a dog there are like having to wake up a bit earlier every morning that's pretty much it pick up some dog poo that's about it that's the only drawbacks i can only think of there's two drawbacks but there's you have an adorable dog which is an experience which you will never forget in your lifetime which is absolutely amazing and you those drawbacks just go or fade away very quickly if you can adopt a dog and you want to adopt a dog, do it. I know there's people who can't, like, say if there's no one at home all the time or what's going on. Like, there are there are times where you have to leave your dog on, on his own or her own for once, like, here or there. There's one thing I don't... There's one thing I really want to do when he's older, but... I just don't know yet because I don't feel like he understands safety and all that. But like, if he's just, like, when we're in like a woods area or something like that, if we're in like a really open area of land, then yeah, we take him off his lead. He gets all like he runs around. He knows like to come back with us in some locations. But there's just that uncertainty of if I did it in like a local area, where, like say if I'm walking down the road, there's people, who, there's dogs which just walk alongside their owners, just doing what they do. They're allowed to stop, do what they need to do. They're allowed to like adventure up a bit more, just stay within like a radius, certain radius. With it within their owners, but there's just that feeling that I won't be able to do that with, that with my dog because he doesn't understand. I try to teach him that the road is a dangerous place, but I don't think that will come across into him, which is unfortunate. Which means we, always, whenever I'm walking him or anywhere near a built-up area, he always has to be his, uh, on a lead or just put him on a really, really ex long extended lead. That means I can have like a bit more control where he goes, but he can still be in that radius, which I do really want him to be out and be free. I just hope I can do that one day. That'd be nice. Just make like have that ability to have confidence that he won't see a cat and go for it and then run into the middle of the road and something bad happen. I also want to say with the portal, when I said like, oh, I'll be doing portal, I don't mean like I'll stop doing commentaries. That's what people thought I meant by when I saying that. Like, no, don't worry, I'm not stopping commentaries. I meant like try and if I can during the week upload a portal video. If not, then sorry. I want to set a schedule, but I don't want to set a schedule because I know I probably won't be able to stick up to it. So what I'll do is try it on the weekends. We'll definitely try and get a, like a cut com or just what I'm doing now, just talking. Just try and get that out on the weekends. And then if I can and get time to do a portal video that will happen during the week so it's like kind of getting like two videos each week if I can do that because I feel like I need to start taking YouTube seriously I need to upload more but it's just hard when you're balancing out college work and your own personal life and YouTube and everything it's just so much to do also if you want to see me get out of the killer trap of um, Mr. Fies' trick line box I am the one and only I, I managed to get out of his trick line box killer trap thing and get world record <laughs> world record with three ramps in a triangle which is 26k even though it's 26 444 even though someone who's actually good at comp can probably just do the exact same thing i did and get about 40k still hope you guys did enjoy this video i'm sorry that if it's bad or not or i don't know let's just see how the it goes and hope you guys enjoyed been jeff see you guys later hope you guys have a great rest of your day and as always keep the outro Ouch.